Okay, we are back with another episode of Mass Effect, the first one. We're going to travel around, take a take a couple of strolls here. Because, you know, we haven't really explored the area that much. Let's see what's going on over here. Let's see what's going on over here. Ooh. Hello there, human. Hello. Sincere apology. But I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. But what's wrong? You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. <laughs> you overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. You're right, it is. And it is the Asari consort's fault. Oh no. She's the one who started all this. What happened? What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. I'll make it that anymore. She has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Well, where is she? Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Good day. What's up with you, dude? Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. I can kick you. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Keep whatever. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. <laughs> At least introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Paul. I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Eh. Uh... No. But see, those are just some of the conversations you get in this game. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, melt, upgrade it, charge it, point it. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Sure. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Cool. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. I'm happy to help, I guess. It's no you are. What can I do for you? Yeah, what my can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Oh, yeah, she's I've dead. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me oh, for cremation. You know. But the military has refused my request. How dare the military do that? I should have to just blow them all up. <laughs> well, at least they tried to do that too, Spoilers. anyways. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. I'll put this right. Shepard won't. I'm smart. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. At a bar, Thank nonetheless. You your with your wife's body. I just want to give my wife a proper <laughs> funeral. And the respect she deserves. Yeah, we're gonna get your wife's body out of that expensive bar. It zoom it, press it, snap it, work it, quick, erase it. Are you the guy, Clark Bosker? My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. You're right, I am. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Mm -hmm. Is there something I can do to assist you? I'm here for the wife's body. Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. You can help. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, uh -huh. as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Noted. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. Cool. That is why her body is being held. She is toxic. No, she's not toxic. She hasn't been on Twitter. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. Uh, the tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. I doubt. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Her body is very valuable to the Alliance. Who the fuck wrote this, Shawn Michaels to Sonny? I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how Me? far we must go to protect humanity. Me? You son of a bitch. Listen here. What? what? Not talk to me like that. Not if we lose our humanity yeah, in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. Yeah. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. <laughs> Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Yeah, I will tell him. And after I'm done telling him, I'll make sure that you do it. Because if you don't, I'm going to stick this gun up your ass. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. Yeah, totally. Is it save it, load it, check it, quick, rewrite it, plug it, play it, burn it. Hello again, Commander. 
Has there been any word? She's coming home, Batia. I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Yay. Thank you. I will return home and begin okay, my preparation. Welcome, I am Melina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. But that would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Yes. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. For what? But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. I mean... Personal questions. <laughs> sure, let's go in detail as the carrot stands over at me. What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What the heck? What exactly do you attend to? Yeah. Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. But not. My specialty is touch. My oh. fingertips can find every attention point in your body and relieve it. <laughs> no. Uh, fuck it. I'd like to try out your services. No, don't. Shepard. Excellent. Bad boy. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, mm, three or four months. Good. I'll be missing by then. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? Can I talk I to the concert? I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. Melina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. See? I wish to speak with him. I'm important. Yes, of course, mistress. Why is she being filmed like that? She's... The heck? Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Sure. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. This is a really weird place, guys. I feel like I should go alone. You stay here. That might be a while. Uh, Shaya, I've come. And I can tell you this, I'm here for a fun time. In fact, I came here especially all alone. Son of a bitch. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. Who are you? <laughs> What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. What about I have a certain problem of those that things? Your expertise. Uh, okay. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. Okay. We had a falling out. Uh -huh. Now he spends his days in Cora's den. I just shut up that place. Spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, eh, I believe he will it. listen to you and let the matter be. Oh, kid, do. Keep what went wrong, actually? What happened between you? Yeah. I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. <laughs> if he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. Okay, do. Okay. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince stop him it. to stop spreading stop lies it. about me, I would be very grateful. <laughs> Look at you, I heard. <laughs> he was now I must it. ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. No, did man, he was into none of that. <laughs> What do you want? Uh, sir, do you have problems? What's bothering you, General? Problems. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. Same. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? <laughs> she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. Garrus knocks some sense into him. I think I can see why you're upset. 
but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Do I not have enough Paragon? <laughs> you need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? Huh? Those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. Look at me, Septimus. You really want to be remembered this way? No, I'd rather not be remembered at all. <laughs> but I see your point. So you think it's that easy? Yes. Just straighten up and act like a general? Yes. It damn well couldn't hurt. Yes. <sighs> Maybe you're right, Commander. Mm -hmm. Shaira's worth the effort. I guess. Even if she won't have me back. <laughs> Glad to hear that. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Or a three. Say, or you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Sure. I'm not going to join a shower. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why is that? Because I told him. <laughs> Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Yeah, I would ask why me, but that a pair of options, so how? What makes you think you'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Okay, okay. Who am I taking it to? Where is he? I did His not ask that Zelda. question. He's an Elcor diplomat. Well... Here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. You didn't drink that cup. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might. Okay. Technology. Oh, yeah, here he is. Here he is. <laughs> Human, delighted. Welcome. It is good to meet you. Okay, now this isn't the one. Okay, maybe it's another one. Just probably the other location I was in. Not here then. Oh, now you leave each other alone. I mean, now you leave me alone. Leave each other alone. <laughs> <laughs> know who revealed your secret? It was, it was me. a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know the Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only Don't. way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Catch off guard. Here, there should be proof enough for you. Garrus has proof. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. You're easy to read. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. <laughs> One of the options. Deal with it. <laughs> Funny. You'll be fine, I'm certain. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. You're welcome. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Do I go to the consort now? Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. No, I'm going to meet the consort I'm first. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It I was an to honest mistake. Her. I Doubtful. did a good. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Shepard, look like you're to shoot the man. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Was it a Paragon option, a though? Thing. You see, then not all humans are as you say. But will it get me Paragon? Only plus two? Some. I want more Paragon. And it doesn't help that the game keeps on doing that. <laughs> I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Yes. Thank you for speaking with him. You're welcome. Even the Elcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Cool. It was my honor to aid you. Money. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. Yep. I also have one more thing to give you, if you're interested. Money. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, it's, an affirmation of who uh, you are and who um, you will become. I want money. I see the sadness behind your eyes. I want money. It tells a story that makes me want to weep. Money me. 
I have no idea. My words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Damn it! Hey, well, allow me to shoot her. Fine, let's go, guys. Fuck this woman. Captain Anderson, sorry for being late. I had to deal with some stuff. Come on. Udina's presenting the Clarion's evidence to the Council. Good. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. What a twist. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. Yeah. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Who's she? <laughs> Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. <laughs> Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. <laughs> you know, Gepper, since you simplized, simplized. Whoa, hold on. Since you simpled that word, you dumb bitch. I'll do this one. The Geth revere them. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods. And Saren is the prophet for their return. Who's she? We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they, they vanish? Come from? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. <sighs> like, seriously, this is just an annoying conversation. You're asking questions. You're answering my question with a question. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. I've seen them! It was a giant ship in the sky! Looks like an octopus, weirdly. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. Cool. That is not good enough! You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. Actually, I think it can. The Citadel fleet could secure the entire region. Keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. You'll do nothing? You son of a bitch. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- And back. <laughs> there is another solution. A way to stop them that does not require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human spec. Everybody's happy. Oh, yes. Commander Shepard, step forward. Can we just skip this part? Can you just say, hey, you're Spectre, go out and shoot things, because I'll do it. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Cool. Spectres are not trained. Yep. But chosen. Wait, what? Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. That's Those me. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Yeah. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, no, the embodiment not. of courage, determination, and self-reliance. I'm only self-reliant. They are the right hand stuff. of the council, 
instruments of our will. Mm -hmm. Cool, sure, Spectres whatever. Spectres bear a great burden. No, I don't. They are protectors of galactic peace. <laughs> Both our first and last line of defense. Chaos. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. I'm just gonna create more chaos. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment Second. for you and your entire species. It isn't. And fuck you guys. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I was just gonna shoot him in the head anyways. I'll find him. <laughs> Wait, this maybe meeting of the council leads. is adjourned. Wait, can I, can I go back and ask for leads? Okay. Shit. Congratulations, Commander. Can I go back? You've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Office. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Can I just, like, you know, get leads? <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot him in the head one day. No worries, guys. Is he going for his gun? <laughs> Now, I could end this episode off here. I mean, it would, it would be fitting. No, no denying that. But, there's some stuff I want to do before I end off this session, because it's going to take an hour to um, do anything, really. Hello, Turian. Unsexy sec, haha. <laughs> Get it, it's a joke. I'm funny. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? Yes. How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Sure. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. It just happened. I blame you. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Okay, let's look at this. Wow, that costs money I don't have. <laughs> oh man, this costs... Wow, this is... Oh, that's a lot of damage! Funny how much all of this costs. I just... Wow. Sweet jeez. Okay, this was... <laughs> I'm a Spectre, but I'm broke. So Jenny Corp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. Huh. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain oh. Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. What? No, I don't believe it. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I will, sir. Take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. Why are you doing this, sir? I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. Hmm? And it's time for me to step down. There's more to this. Eh, I don't know. Who knows if there is? What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly Ferox, before not our Ferox. colony there dropped out of contact. Maybe it's Ferox. There have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs in Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Uh, what about the Reapers? The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. I'm not but scared. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Okay. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. You can count on me. And Garrison. I'll stop it. Rex and Tally and Cad and... We have one more lead. Maybe that Matriarch actually though. Benizia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Oh, yeah, her Liara. name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. 
I'll start there. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. <laughs> Good. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. Uh, okay then. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. True. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yeah, what about you and Saren? Yes, Commander? Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the set. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance. Just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Okay, why hide? Oh, there you What happened? I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. Ooh. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There nah, was a camp now I see why you hate them. <laughs> Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Most of Yeah, now I see why you hate them. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. This doesn't matter. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right. It's no good to be Goodbye. I should go. I should go. I'll be here if you need me. Goodbye now. Let's go to the Normandy so I can I'll lift off and then save. Improve. Remember what happened to Captain Anderson? He survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. I'm ready. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Yeah. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. I need to be honest with them. Okay, guys. If you die, it's your fault. If you live, I'm the one that needs to be praised. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Okay. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. Sure. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. Um, okay, uh, Nilsson sucks. And I just want you to know that he's going to be editing the series. So, any quiet moments, he'll probably cut out. Any cool moments, he'll probably keep in. But, never forget, his circumference is 42. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. I have no idea what to say here, so I'm just going to say this now. Uh, this music sucks. Mass Effect 2 is better. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Everyone's counting on us. Yes, yes, yes. It's good. It's a good line. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species <laughs> yes, in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. I don't even think Ashley's fully human. Well said, Commander. The captain will be proud. I won't let him down. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Okay, the, the, the calm is off. You yes, sir. To that. <laughs> the big, grand moment. Yes, sir. 